You like the sound, it's going down, it's going down. Let's bring coffee, watch passerby. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna do a workshop. It's been a while, I haven't done a workshop in a while. And now I don't remember what I was gonna do. No, it's not your baby, no. Timer is set, yeah? Timer is set. <clears throat> okay, what, what was I gonna do? This is workshop nine. <laughs> workshop nine, and I'm going to go over some, some of my strange tricks. So, if you, uh, Want to learn some strange tricks? This is the place to be. Okay, wait, hold up. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, the first thing I want to show you is going to be called crisscross applesauce. I thought I had done something, I think I named it that before, once before. <clears throat> but let me see if I can remember what it was that I was going to show you. Because <laughs> I wrote this a couple days ago. Uh, let me see. Crisscross applesauce. Oh, okay, okay, so I got it. I had to think about it first before I show you. Okay, the crisscross applesauce is going to be... Wait. Yeah, that's not right. <laughs> I'm having a brain uh, problem. Memory problem. Okay, there it is, there it is. I have to do it a few times, hold up. Okay, <clears throat> so the first thing you're gonna do, this is it, right here. 
That's the crisscross apple sauce. I'm doing a, I'm doing a, a, a swing this way. This is going across your body, but you're going to start it off with a wrap around your index finger. Yeah. Then you're grabbing this one. I think I've showed this before. I think we call it the scissor wrap. The scissor wrap, you can do this kind of thing. You're, you're caught in a loop so you won't get out of it unless you release it, okay? So you need to know that because that's what this is. <clears throat> so, you're gonna do that first, wrap around your index finger, release that ball. Now you can swing it this way, swing it that way, and then roll out of it. That's the crisscross, that's the crisscross. See what I'm doing right there? That is the crisscross. That's a fun one. You should try it. Now it probably depends on how long you have. Hey, Joe. It probably depends on how long your, your cord is. It might be a factor. So if it's a super short game, you're not going to be able to do this. I can, I can just tell you right now. You got to have some kind of length. <clears throat> and uh, crisscross will make you jump. <laughs> yeah, Joel knows what's up. Hey, Justin. Hey, Corey. Jump, jump. <laughs> so yeah, that that right there was. Oops, I messed it up. <clears throat> That's the crisscross applesauce. So you can get out of it having fumble fingers. You can get out of it this way, or you can get out of it that way. So you can roll like roll towards yourself or roll away from yourself. Either way, you can get out of it. So, that one's done. Okay, let me see. What else did I say I was gonna do? Two-hand lasso. Oh. Two-hand lasso. I haven't even filmed this one yet. <clears throat> okay, have you seen the catapults? Have you seen one that I did before? I called it the catapults, and this is what I did. I anchor with my thumb, and it's a two-hand trick, by the way. You need two hands to do this. Okay. <laughs> well, it helps. <laughs> but yeah, okay. Uh, I'll show you what it everything. I'll show you with my metal chucks because you probably see it even better this way. Okay, so you're gonna want to be. Let me see if I can. I gotta do it first. Apparently, you're not supposed to pull these out of the metal chucks. Shout out to Simon. I think he he relayed that message, which is why they almost kind of tend to want to slip back out once I pulled them out <laughs> to the longer cord but that's another story okay so <clears throat> let me see wait dude I have to figure out how did I oh, okay I got it now so you anchor is the first well let me show you it I didn't even show you the last so <laughs> I can't show you the trick if I don't I can show you how to do it if I don't show you the trick, right? It's Saturday. Okay, so here's the trick. I'll show you the trick. Wait, let me see. Gotta get in frame. I gotta get in frame. And I gotta be in the right. Do you see that? That was the lasso. That was the two hand lasso. And the reason I call it a lasso is because I go outwards with the loop like this, and then I catch it again. I need like a better string so you can see this. <clears throat> Who told me green was good? Somebody told me green was green pops out. This was the catapult. When you get into this anchored position with your thumb. You anchor it, then you go forward, rebound, come back. I thought that would look like a catapult, 
So that's what I was calling that. So you gotta be able to do that prerequisite. You gotta do that first. Or know how to do it first. So that way, <laughs> if you can do that, then you can easily do this. Yeah. It was you, Joel, it was you. Joel gets the win. Okay, so I hope you can see it better with this green. Okay, so once you get into this position, right? And I guess I'm, I'm, I gotta tell you what grip I'm in first. I'm in low grip. I start with low grip first. I anchor it and catch it on high grip. And I anchor it with my thumb. So it's one whole motion that you do. Right, and you just think of think of happy things. <laughs> think of happy things when you do this, because that that will help you do it. Okay, so so you anchor it right. Once you have it in this position, you flick your wrist outward like this, and when you come back, you can switch grips. See, or your anchor point from a thumb to another finger, from this thumb to here, from this thumb to here. That's how I'm doing my last so right there. And then you can get out of it however way you want. So does that make any sense? <laughs> does that make any sense? Erica, Erica, you're here. Oh my God, I miss you. I haven't seen you in so long, not that I see you now but I can envision that you're there and you're watching me. Okay, so this is a lasso two hand transfer. See what I did? Or grip switch. I think I need to point this a little bit down. Okay, so. There, look how nice that looks. Doesn't that look nice? Maybe you like that? <laughs> you like my hair, Erica? I cut my hair. I cut it. I was getting too long. Couldn't do anything with it. And I said, you know what? It's time for a change. So I switched it up. So that's the lasso grip. Two hand grip. Uh, switch, I guess, is what I call it. <laughs> I don't know. I forget what I call everything. I, I don't remember. My memory is not the best. Let's see, what was the next thing I said I was going to do? The two-hand lasso. Okay, two-hand pass variations. Oh, two-hand pass variations. Let me remember what that was about. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Erica. You're so sweet. Two hand pass variations. Okay. Um, two hand passes, when you're doing two hand play, which I do a lot, is just involves like passing from one hand to the other. You can do them various ways. If you're new to it and the, you don't have to know how to use your switch, you don't have to do switch play per se. But putting another hand in there for a pass kind of opens up different tricks that you can do. You can just, and it doesn't have to be anything special or, or difficult or super hard. So don't be intimidated for any of that. <laughs> Thank you, Erica. You're so sweet. Hey, William. Okay, so. Like I was saying, a two-hand pass can be an overhand, and then you don't even have to you don't even have to slip if you don't want to. You can just do a stall and then go back into your dominant hand, and that right there kind of gives it a little bit of uh, you know pizzazz, a little bit a little bit of sparkles. Just like oh wow, like check this out. Look at what she did. Wow, what was that about? So that's one of them you can do. So you can do this number. From here, you can pass to the other hand and then 
go back. And if you want to do a wrap, you can, and then catch it. And there's your two hand pass again. So you can do it over, over, over. You can do that number. Just experiment with the different things you can do. And I'm going to show you some of the ones that I was doing. So this is this is one new one that I'm doing. I'm calling it kind of looks like a pendulum. See how it swings like a pendulum like psh, 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 psh. or like a ticking of the clock, the grandfather clock. So right there. That gives you a little bit of Oh, that looks cute. And let me see what's another one. This one. You can just catch it and then release it. Catch and release like a little fish that you were fishing and you caught a little fish and it was just too small and you wanted to go back to its home. So you catch it and then release it. You catch it and then release it. Oh, uh, we'll see you, Erica. You gonna go? <clears throat> so you can also do them in various positions. You can go horizontal and release it. Horizontal. See what I'm doing right there? Um, practice doing these numbers right here. A horizontal slip on high grip. It's just easy. Anybody can do that. You're just going like this, like a little helicopter. And then you want to either catch it this way and then release it and then go the other direction. Or you can be fancy and cross your arms to catch it and then release it. Oh! So yeah, you can do stuff like that. Many, many things can be done with two hand passes. This one right here goes from a pendulum. But I'm doing my little stall pass right here. Then I'm catching it this way. But you don't have to catch it this way. You can you can be with your hand facing palm up and then catch it and go back into your play. So that's something something to think about, something to open up your your tricks. A little a little distraction from all all that concentration you're doing. And then you just well you don't miss it because then it'll be like, what the hell did she do? She tried something and it didn't work. <laughs> so yeah, it kind of opens up some spontaneity of what you're doing. It gives you a break to think about something before you do it. Everybody needs a little bit of a hesitation in life, especially if you're in the middle of a combo and you ran out of ideas and you don't know what to do. So, something to try. Yeah, yeah. I'm really influenced by that, by the way. So thanks for bringing that up, Asriel. And you know, I don't know if you know, but I have like a big collection of nunchaku, nunchucks on my wall, over there, over, over there, there. Dun, dun. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. I've been known to be a ninja on my on my spare time. But okay, so that's fun with two hand passes. <laughs> Let me see what else did I say? I was gonna show you. What was I gonna show you? Oh, two hand bellow ring pass. Okay, for not, I know not all of you have a bellow, and I need to do tutorials. Actually, I need to put up my unboxing of bellow, and I haven't, I haven't done that. But if you haven't seen it, that's bellow. Bellow are two rings, little brother to the halo, which I'm not wearing. So the halo came first, the halo came first, and then the bellow was born. Now the difference between the two, if you're interested in this at all, is there's, the halo is thicker, a thicker ring. 
You can see the bellow is thinner, but they're the same diameter. Same diameter. But, and same width. Yeah, I, I lie. The halo's a little bit wider, and the bellow's a little bit less wide. <clears throat> but anyway, the ring two hand pass is like that. And if you could see that, I'm doing like this. I'm doing like that to that while I'm doing my pass, okay? So you can't really see it. <laughs> oh no. Where did they go? Stuck in my Christmas tree. Uh, so, okay. It's kind of easy to do because of the ring, you know, the hole. So I'm just, I'm just touching fingers, and it's going to the next finger. Then I touch the finger, and it goes to the next finger. It kind, you can't really see it because it happens too fast. But that's what's happening. That's how I'm able to do it and not even look. Like I don't even have to be, I don't even have to be looking to be able to put the finger in the hole. That's how easy that is it's just feel you just you feel where that hole is and put your finger in the hole <laughs> yeah you spike the ring i, I want to say it in a nice way like i don't know how, how to say that properly <laughs> but that works so i want to kind of do it i want to kind of do it closer to you let's see there see how that looks fail <laughs> oh my god <clears throat> I still have like congestion dude oh that looked really cool wait god why am I having trouble doing it this way there I'm trying to look this way and then I'm not paying attention so Please forgive. <laughs> okay, I think I covered them all. That was your workshop for today. Not everybody has these. It's kind of unfair to just be playing with them and tease you with it if you don't already have it. But listen to that ringing of the bell. <laughs> I saw uh, Justin using his September beads. Shout out to Justin using his September beads from Rain City. So I'm going to use mine now. Yeah, it does ring really nicely, doesn't it? Sounds like a dinner bell. It reminds me of like dinner is served. A little bit, what are you doing? What are you doing, little? What's going on? You want a snack? You want a snack? Please forgive me. I'm being a bad mother. I'm not paying attention to my little bit who was very nervous because uh, there was like a thunderstorm that happened just minutes ago. It finally kind of calmed down. All right. You know you like it, or do you want the smaller piece? Is that too big for you? You want this piece instead? Oh, you want to take them both? Oh, you're so greedy. Oh my God. I tried to cut the piece in half and give her a, just a small piece of beef jerky, whatever it is. And she took them both. <laughs> she took them both. You little stinker. It's getting stuffy in here. I have to turn on the air. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Damn, I'm just dropping everything today.
I didn't turn on my lights, man. No one told me. Oh, okay, that looks more cooler. Hey, Mark. What's up, Mark? What are you doing? <clears throat> Let me see. Okay, now I showed you all of my workshop. Uh, I will try to combine those tricks in a combo of sorts, or maybe like just freestyle it and see if I can. Uh, <laughs> I shall try again. Thing I showed. Oh, I can't show the, the bellow because it's over there. It's over there. Okay, let's. Oh, I did it. I have been trying to fucking do that for a while. It's a thing where you, you throw it in the air and then you catch it with your finger. <laughs> Like so, and then you keep on going. I I got that, and that one's tough. You don't know how tough that is. Man, that's hard to show what happens with Bello. You're not like right in frame. Oh, oh no. Oh, this is a kendama thing if you can tell. I didn't need to pick this one. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, you're gonna go, Chris? Okay. Thank you for stopping by. I like that lasso, huh? That lasso looks cool. I need to do like proper uh, tutorial. I plan to do them. I know I keep saying I'm going to, but yeah, I'm probably going to. <laughs> I'm going to like very soon just to really get a close, intimate look at these tricks that I'm trying to show you. You know, the slow-mo and all that good stuff. <laughs> yeah, you know, definitely Velo has uh, its uniqueness, that's for sure. Just like the Halo. The Halo is more like a, a string toy, like a boy type toy because you, you're, you got the big long chain so you can't really do too many beggary tricks but it also has advantages like things that you can do it turned on the air condition but I left the heater going which means that the heater just turned on <laughs> <laughs> Counterproductive. So the Halo has its advantages, but it's for a different type of trick set. If you want the bellow, it's a lot closer to beggary because of what you can do with it. And then that ring just adds to other stuff that can be done.
also it makes it makes this super easy. Cause you just you just put your hand in there. You're not gonna lose it. You know what I mean? And that ring. Let me see if I can do it again. There's just one trick that I was able to. I call it portals. There it is. I can do it on the bellow, but I have to have a longer spread for it to fall in the hole that it has to go into. combo I did with that little, with that hand, pass, transfer, see what that is, see what I did right there. So yeah, I encourage you all to try to hand play, even if it's just for hand assists, which is what I call this, this type of stuff, like it's just a assisting with your other hand. That makes uh, a lot more interesting tricks. A lot more interesting tricks. And here's the lasso with a ho ho ho. It kind of looks good from the front angle, yeah? Gotta aim better. No. Two hand lasso. I don't see anybody doing that because I made it up because I just did it now. <laughs> I haven't I haven't filmed anything for that. I need to film a clip using that. So, so people can be like, whoa, what did I just see? Oh, it's Cloudy Girl. She does stuff like that. Let's see, I'm working on doing spiral wraps better. I like how Matt does them. He like ends it like this. I'm trying to get... Matt, this is a shout out to you, Matt. I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out how you do this so well. It's like I, ha I almost have it and then I don't have it. <laughs> I like how he does it because he catches it like it never happened. Oh man, it's one of those tension tricks right there. Right there, and then from there he goes back the other way, and then he catches it this way again, and then he... I don't know, how, how do you do that, Matt? How? How do your fingers work? <laughs> These are my chromentums. Rocking the chromentums. Much love to Chromentum and Ruben and Corey and everybody at Chromentum. They got some new stuff that, that I'm hyped for, man. I'm really looking forward to it, to that new stuff y'all got coming out. Looks good. I want I want to put my hands on it. I want to hug it. I want to hug it like a pillow and lay down and, and have good dreams with my Chromentum. It's just looking at those type of hands. Inspiring. Inspiring, man. I love to see new shapes, new ideas come to light. So, I'm excited for the future.
What about those AO2 drops, by the way? All the new stuff that's that's uh, coming out. That looks cool, dude. Matt's on fire. I like those black hercs that have a bimetal ring. <laughs> those look hot, man. Oh, I really like those. <clears throat> Shout out to Arnie, Party Artie, or Artie, my bad. <laughs> Artie, Party Artie. Shout out to Party Artie and his and his party bags. I just uh, gave my brother a Party Artie set because he is getting into beggary now, and I'm really proud of that. So I gave him a Party Artie set. He's rocking the smaller set, the one that I got from Rob from his giveaway. Pass that down to my brother, and it's crazy because I, I'm like freaking out. He's a short gamer. Apparently, he's a short gamer. My brother, brother of Claudia, the long game girl, is a short game boy. So when he gets a little bit more skillful, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a clip of him share it on here. Actually, he is, he's on fire with just one day. I just gave him the set last night, around 7-ish o'clock, somewhere around there. And that boy, in that short amount of time, learned how to, on his own, by the way, I didn't even tell him what to do. I guess he's seen me enough times that it finally, it finally like melted in his brain, all the things that I do. But he wasn't able to do what I do. He was doing around the world because it's short, you know. And his, this was interesting too, by the way. For all you new newbies, you beginners, he didn't cut the cord. I gave him the same length that I used. He put it to the length he wanted, and then he knotted it to shorten it. So he put a knot here, a knot here, and a knot in the middle. Which I told him, just cut it. I have plenty of cords, you know. But I guess he likes it knotted. And uh, here's a tip. This is what he's doing. Since everyone has different sizes of hands, and everyone always asks what's, what's the proper length and what should I go for. Well, if you're getting into it and you want to try short game, this is what he's doing. He makes a fist, and that's his length. And then he makes his knot on the end, another knot over here, a knot in the middle, you know. Or you don't need to knot it, you can just cut your cord. But that boy, he learned how to do weaves super quick. That was like the first thing he was doing. And then he did, uh, he did grip transfers. He did from one grip to another. Like he would, he would go over to another grip and then go to another. He's, he's doing crazy stuff. We're never really messing with it before so I'm proud of him. Much love. Much love to all you short gamers out there. You know who you are, Jeremy. You know who you are. Total artist, Sarah. You know who you are, Tyrone. All you short gamers out there. We got a new short game kid that just uh, joined the group and he's fast like fire. I can't remember his name right now. But he's doing some crazy stuff. Very inspiring. Welcome to the group. All you new people, welcome to the group. And come back every Saturday. We do live streams all day till nighttime. Until people stop streaming, basically. It's a free for all. If you're gonna stream, you just drop a message beforehand and a comment. Say you're going to stream like in 5 minutes, 10 minutes. You have a 30 minute limit to stream. I already went over that. <laughs> but yeah, I kind of created these so 
I give myself a little bit extra time. But 30 minutes so that everybody else that wants this train has the time to do it. And thank you for watching.